difficult decision to say yes? No, not at all. I mean, every, you know, everyone's aware of, of kind of my history and my emotional involvement with the club, and obviously, I'm delighted to be here and, and involved with a club that's been a part of my life for a long time. And you know, I, I can see it as a club that's moving forward and wanting to be successful. And it's a it's a great story to be part of, and, and one that I can see, hopefully, you know, running for a long time and getting better and better. When we when we would have had this conversation three years or so ago, um, would you envisage two campaigns out of the following three seasons being in what was the Heineken Cup? I think it's difficult, isn't it? It's difficult at the time to, to, to see the future, but I think even then, you know, I think when I, when I signed the last contract, I think I had very similar conversations that I could see as a, uh, a very ambitious club that was moving forward and was, and was striving to be better in everything it did. Um, and I think that's, uh, that's kind of what's happened and that pattern has, has stayed in place and, and that's what allowed us to get into the Heineken Cup. That's what has, what's allowed us to be where we are this season in the Premiership so far. You know, it's, I often say to people, I think they think sometimes that it was all about waking up from a dream and we're, you know, we, we were in the Premiership. It wasn't, wasn't like that. You know, it's been a step-by-step -step journey. It's involved a lot of people who, some of who aren't involved with the club anymore and a lot of players who aren't involved with the club anymore, but it's been a, it's been a steady progression and that's what you've got to try and um, maintain for as long as you can is a level of progression, hopefully not too many pitfalls and not too many plateaus and I think so far in the Premiership we've done that very well. Is patience a big key to that because everybody wants success now if not yesterday mm. and clearly Exeter have come up in the Championship you know a couple of seasons kind of establishing themselves mm. then they're coming in the Heineken Cup a little bit of a knockback but the stadium is built in the meantime you know is that really key that people shouldn't expect to be winning the league this season perhaps but maybe in three or five seasons it's about that patience. I think it's I think it's two things. You, know, you can talk about patience, or you can talk about uh, understanding the reality of a situation. So, if you're the biggest spending club in the Premiership with the biggest squad and uh, or whatever, well, you shouldn't be patient because you should be expecting to be at the top of the league and winning things. If you're a club that are newly promoted and are building your squad and are building the finances that, that you're putting on the table, yes, there should be some real, realism and there should be some patience. You know, if you're rebuilding a squad or if senior players have left a little bit like with us last year, yet yeah, there's a reason to be patient. I think that's what it's about. It's about it's about judging the situation realistically that the club are in. Um, and, and that should level your expectations and if if things go beyond that it's fantastic but if things are only around that level that's that's a realistic thing for you then yes it's very important to be patient and not to not to get too panicky and edgy about wanting things that probably are a little bit out of your reach at that time and knowing that by being strong and, and working for the future and, and seeing things as they really are and not worse than they are that uh, you know sooner or later you'll, you'll get yourself back on that upward curve and I think we've managed that situation very well I think the, uh, the onward battle for us is going to be very tough, you know, uh, developing the ground is very important, developing our supporter base is very, very important because they're all huge parts of developing the, the financial base and you know, professional sport is largely about uh, getting, getting a lot of pounds and then when you get your lot of pounds you get the best out of every pound you can and I think we're, we're pretty good at doing that at the club but we've got to keep doing that. I say we've got to keep, got to keep striving to increase everything we do. You know the, the size of the, the size of the playing budget, the the quality of the players we've got here, uh, how we look after the players off the pitch as well as on the pitch. You know there's a lot of battles for us, but we're realistic about the timescales of, of what it takes. And I, I don't, I don't think, like I say, I wouldn't call that patience. I would just call it a good touch of realism. A lot of pressure on one man. You know, you're the head of the team, effectively, and you know th this whole club and this whole infrastructure kind of stands or falls by how that team performs out on a Saturday or a Sunday, doesn't it? Uh, yes, a little bit, but uh, but as you said, you know, uh, I've got a very good coaching team here. You know, obviously, who I'm delighted to stay in, and if anything, that's probably the best part of the news. You know, I'm I'm really pleased to sign a new contract, but I'm even more pleased that the the coaches who are around me are all staying as well because we, we work very together and we, uh, you know we share we share a lot of the good times and a lot of the bad times you know and you know we we managed like I say, even you know we managed to smile through some stuff because you know the reality is you know it is still sport we're very lucky to have the jobs we have and when people talk about pressure you know being a premiership head coach is is not the worst job in the world whether your team go out on a Saturday and win or whether they go out there and lose you know you so it, like I say again it's just it's seeing things for what they are um, as I said and, and I think the important thing is, is is not transferring any undue or unnecessary or unrealistic pressure onto the players. I think we've done that very well. You know, most of our players go out on the pitch to enjoy themselves and have a smile on their face. Yes, they're professional. Yes, they know it's the importance of what they're doing. Um, you know, and it's important for them to succeed. And it's important for the club to succeed. But you know, we, we aren't going out onto a rugby pitch absolutely terrified of, of what will happen if we lose. And I think that's again, it's another kind of an important part of the structure of the whole club that. 
we want to be ambitious, and but we know that to be ambitious, you've got to go for things. You know, you don't you don't win anything by not by not trying to win. You know, if you spend your whole time trying to avoid losing, you, you don't get to succeed very much. And I think we've shown that attitude from our first season in the Premiership when we, we went onto the pitch to try and score tries. And ultimately, I think it's something that's held us in good stead for the, the whole of our time in the in the top competition. That you know, we don't start a year worrying about the bottom. We start a year worrying about where we can, how close we can get to the top. And finally, from me, what objectives has Tony Rowe set you in these next three years? I think I think the 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 target that we would all see as being round about you know, where we would like to be is a, is, a, is a solid regular top six club. Now I think that's still a challenge for us because if you look at you know you can start to reel off five or six big clubs pretty quickly. If when you go through Northampton, Saracens, Harlequins, Bath, Leicester, you know you start to get through winners of the competition in recent years, and all of a sudden you think, well, that's five or six clubs we just named. So being in that top six is, is pretty tough, um, but at the same time. I think that's a marker that we're ambitious and, and it's a marker that we want to attract quality players here. It's a marker we want to keep our best players um, and, it, and it should show something that, it, that we're a good club to come and watch because you'll see a lot of good rugby and those are all things we've got to, we've got to keep, con, uh, keep in consideration. We also want to be playing against the likes of Toulon and Clermont and Leinster, Munster on a regular basis and you only really get the opportunity to do that if you stay in that top six. So that's, that's very much a target for me and, and for the club, I think. And I think if we achieve that, we'll be pleased and, and we're, we'll probably be at a level of still overachieving a little bit. But I think it's a very re realistic aim for us.